So in today's video, I'm going to talk about some of the updates that are coming to TinCan in March. So this is right around the corner and the developers are talking about this as if it is a small update. But I do think the last change that's coming in this update is really significant and is going to be a complete game changer for TinCan. But before we get to that, let's just start running through all of the changes. So the first one that I want to talk about is the fire update. So this is basically going to mean that you can get fires in the ship and there's also going to be a fire extinguisher that's going to allow you to deal with that. I do think this will add some significant challenge to the game because it is already difficult under certain circumstances to deal with carbon dioxide. And what this is effectively going to do is it's going to take oxygen out of the ship while it's putting carbon dioxide back. I also wonder if there is going to be a scenario under which when you have high concentrations of O2 in the pot, if that is actually going to cause the fire to spread faster. If that's the case, it is really going to bring significant challenge to this game because uh, this is something that I frequently do. If you've seen my Let's Play videos on Tin Can is I would vent additional oxygen into the pod to just help me deal with situations where I don't have the oxygen system functioning. So I think that if there is a scenario under which fire could burn a lot faster just because of the additional oxygen in the air, that is really going to make things tricky. So next up are leaks and it's pretty clear how this one's going to work. When you go through an asteroid field, I guess there's going to be a chance when you get hit that that is going to cause a leak in your pod. And that basically just means that you're going to be losing atmosphere from the pod. Now, I think that should be okay to deal with if, again, if you've seen my Let's Plays, you know that there are certain circumstances under which I deliberately get rid of atmosphere in the pod. But I do wonder what the visual indicators are going to be. Is it just going to be a case of you, you have to spot the leak, basically? Are you going to have to rely on the instrumentation? Or will there be some auditory clue as well? And I really hope there is, because if there isn't, I think that'll be really difficult to deal with if you're not aware of the fact that you are actually leaking atmosphere and as you know once you've lost atmosphere once you've lost oxygen from the system there is no way to get it back you can keep on recycling but you can only work with what is in the pod so i do think this could potentially add some significant challenge to the game the next one's one that i'm pretty excited about and i know a lot of players have been asking for this as well which is the storage so previously or currently basically you still have to just organize things within the pod itself and that means there's usually just a bunch of stuff lying around and every time you get the singularity event for example right now that means that everything's just going to be pulled towards one side of the ship so that really makes it quite difficult to organize things it also sounds like uh, there's going to be some potential spare parts as they're saying here so i think that's great that means you don't have to immediately start salvaging systems uh, I don't know if there's going to be some variability to that. I hope so. That could be a, another interesting variable to throw in there. So again, I know a lot of players have been asking for this. Really glad to see that this is getting implemented. And this brings me on to the final change that's coming in the March update, which I literally think is going to be a game changer. So this is going to introduce a workbench and new parts. So if you've been playing the game, you know that the way that components have worked is that if a component breaks, you can either replace it with another component or you can salvage things in the repair box and you can basically then use those parts to, to fix components. But it hasn't really been done in this way. What they're introducing here is that every component is going to be made up of a set of parts and then you're going to be able to take components apart and use those parts in other components. And that is going to introduce a whole new layer of complexity. And I think this is going to sort of cut both ways in terms of difficulty, because it does mean that, as they say, there's this new layer of failures where previously you had to work out, OK, if a component's broken, which system can I salvage? What are the implications of salvaging a system to replace that component? Now you're going to have to go a step further and think, okay, if it's a fuse that's broken, do I go and salvage the parts that I need, the parts that have broken within this fuse from a different system or, or from a different fuse rather, or do I look for another part that's maybe not as important, but I know that it has the parts that I need. And it basically means that as you progress through the game, you're going to be able to mix and match. And I think this is really what this game has been missing so far. And of course, this is already a really good game. It gets really positive reviews on Steam. But the single biggest criticism that I've seen 
was the repair box itself. And I think this addresses that criticism. It means that it does now have this extra layer of complexity. Now, I mentioned that the difficulty is going to cut both ways, so it is going to be more complex, but I also think it gives the player more options. It might be easier because you have sort of more parts that you can work with and you can sort of mix and match, as I said. So hopefully that will balance things out a bit, especially considering that there is going to be fire now, there is going to be leaks as well. So I think it is good that this is going to be balanced a bit. So I'm really excited to see this one coming. Currently, I haven't seen anything about the, uh, there was talk of an update coming that would involve getting rescued and I haven't seen anything about the, the rescue mode yet. Uh, so I hope that will also still come, but I'm very excited, particularly about this workbench and new parts when that hits in March. I'm not sure exactly when that's going to happen. I'll definitely be putting out more Let's Plays. And curious to hear what you think as well. Let me know, are these the updates that you were looking for? Is there anything else that you're hoping they'll bring to the game soon? And uh, as always, if you like this kind of content, do like and subscribe and I'll see you for the next video.